Hey everybody, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program RP0. We are just really checking on our Jupiter Orbiter mission, and we have a problem. But uh, first I wanted to point out that there we are, there's Earth. Many, 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 many millions of miles away. I don't know the exact distance, but uh, while I was not paying attention to this spacecraft, something happened. I can only assume it was an encounter with one of Jupiter's moons, but our periapsis here at Jupiter is now negative one million meters, making this on a collision course. Uh, we will be at our apoapsis in 129 days, so we need to set up a maneuver to correct this a bit. Alright, um, but we do have a unique opportunity here to get a lot closer to Jupiter than we did on our first pass, which I'm not even sure how close we were. That was like 2 million or so, and I don't, I should probably check to see where the atmosphere on Jupiter starts because that would be uh, nice not to accidentally deorbit this thing. Uh, the good news is we got plenty of time to check that out. There's a hundred and some odd days to this maneuver, and there's 311 days until we get back around to our periapsis. But I would rather make the correction, or rather set up the correction. We're not going to sit here for 120 days while this thing gets out to its uh, apogee, apoapsis. Sorry, totally in incorrect terminology there. But... Uh, so we've just set up that maneuver node. I'm just going to let you guys know that uh, somewhere in the near future we'll be coming back to make some corrections to that. But in the meantime, I do have a contract to radio in science from Jupiter. So we'll be here for at least 45 minutes while we're waiting for the signal to reach the spacecraft and then come back to us. Well, it won't be 45 minutes for us because we have time warp. <laughs> there it is. We just need to radio something in. If we happen to hit something that uh, actually gives us uh, something biome specific. Nope. Okay. Bingo. And contract complete. We've missed two contracts. They were both mapping contracts that the uh, either the inclination wasn't. Yeah. High res scan of the moon totally expired. We took a big hit on that one. And human LEO, we totally had this one completed with the STS-1, but it just didn't honor it for us. And I'm kind of mad about that. So I canceled the contract on both of them because they just weren't going to happen, and there's no point of them taking up the slot when they didn't need to. So, all right, that's going to do it for what we're doing out here. Why is throttle set to full? That's new and interesting. Yeah, we can... No, we're not going to zero out our throttle. Well, the fuel tanks are locked, so that doesn't that part doesn't matter so much. But that'll be interesting to figure out later on in like uh, 134 odd days, something like that. All right. Anyway, we've got some other stuff to attend to, so I will pick you guys up in just a few minutes. All right. Well, speaking of contracts, this is why I need to free up the space. Although I've got more space now, was this first space station contract. Uh, it is really lucrative. As you can see, we're at 3.2 million now. But uh, it basically involves building a space station that can house up to four. We need to bring two Kerbals to it uh, with a rendezvous. I don't know if that means if we can bring it all up in one launch, detach, turn around, and then rendezvous to it. They need to stay there for at least 30 days. We've got some restrictions on the orbit. Uh, Apogee no higher than 2 million, perigee no lower than 400,000. We have to have two crew up there for 30 days, and then we have to bring two crew back home. As you can see, this thing paid out a lot, but man will it hurt if we fail. So we're going to jump over to the VAB and uh, start building some things. And if there's ever an excuse to use our new Maverick launcher, this is the one. Well, here we are in the VAB, and... Uh, I'm super excited because we have new capsules that we can play with. We have the TKS VA command module, which uh, has a crew of three. It will allow us to control a vessel up to 100 tons, but it's going to cost us 600,000 to unlock. Wow. 
<laughs> we think that's bad. Yeah. Okay, we've got the Mark II pod measuring four meters. Uh, this is probably the Apollo Command mod pod uh, equivalent. Also seats three. We'll also control a craft of up to 100 tons, but will cost us $1 million credits, space bucks, to unlock. Um, <laughs> these things are ridiculously priced, so I really need to know what kind of uh, differences we're dealing with. This uh, electric charge, 1.9 kilowatts and has a tank of that looks like 1.05 kiloliters I can't really tell uh, this one requires electric charge of 1.5 per minute which I assume that's gonna be oh yeah electric charge 1.58 kilowatts so it'll take less charge to run it, but only has a 160 liter internal tank which is about one tenth of the size of the Apollo module, but uh, considering price and power and all else things being the same, a Blader 400, that was the other thing I needed to check. You can go away. Uh, da, 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 da. It does not say anything about a Blader. Heat shield required for safe entry. So this thing doesn't even come with its own heat shield. This one does, but do we know the rating? Heat shield at the bottom supports two crew for one day. This says two, but crew capacity is three. It doesn't tell us if, if that heat shield is lunar rated or not. So maybe we'll just remove the ablator and go with our own heat shield. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. 600,000 totally spent it is sin ugly that is okay all right 400 ablator start retracted start deployed and that's weird okay then all right set the height of okay so I'm gonna start building out underneath this which means it's probably going to be sped up in post yay I will uh, see all of you when we're done so first up is the command pod and making sure that we can get it back to Earth safely. So uh, starting with basically the same configuration I've used on everything and then deciding to change it instead. Uh, we've got a life support up tank up there and then a uh, small propellant tank for those thrusters. And then we need the uh, service module, which I'm trying to go for something a little different than normal uh, with these radially mounted tanks and hoping that we can tuck it all nicely under a fairing some thrusters on there and just some adjusting of size and then making sure that we have uh, alignment it'll need some solar panels and these radial chutes that's our command module so now we're going to start building out our actual space station uh, it's going to be super basic we've got a science core module down there at the bottom and then a crew habitat for four add some uh, radial tanks for these RCS thrusters uh, a few more thrusters because we need to be able to dock it. I added some RTGs just to make sure. I'm not sure about the power consumption of the crew module. We'll get it all tucked in and lined up, tucked under a fairing, and then we will put our Maverick launch stage underneath it. Uh, apparently there's some issues with the paint job and a whole lot of fidgeting with staging. But that just about does it. And well, that's it. It's been added to the build list. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed watching me fiddle with stages for far too long. And I really cannot wait to really kind of put this ridiculously massive uh, Maverick launcher into some use. Although our actual uh, payload to orbit this mission is only about 30 tons. So I'm thinking we could really add a whole lot to this station and still be way under our tonnage limit. We didn't even have to defuel this little stage here which we totally could. How much tonnage does that buy us before we're at our capacity? Uh, I'm not above fueling things on the launch pad. Oh yeah, we're down to like... We could add lots more tonnage to this thing. Toggle fuel pump true, okay good. Uh, I'm just going to duplicate these over onto the core just to make sure that gets fueled also. Make sure they're in the correct staging. Ding, 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 ding. Dink, dink. Yes, yes they are. And I'll turn their fuel pumps on. 
But so uh, this is going to take like dang near a year to put together, which is a little uh, disappointing. I was hoping we could get to launching of this very soon, but considering how much money I had to spend to unlock parts for the station, it would suddenly become no longer profitable. It's already no longer profitable. This launch is going to cost us 134 grand. We spent well over a million researching parts for just the station launch itself. But uh, this should be fun. Oh, I should probably set up those parachutes, huh? All right, well, that's stuff for me to do off camera. But uh, thank you so much for hanging out, everybody. That's going to do it for us today. I do appreciate it, and until next time, I will see you later.